Hey guys, it's currently Saturday. I just woke up from a nap, <laughs> which is great. And I just got a few packages in that I thought I would show you what I got. So the first package I got is from Pop Linen, which is a brand that I'm going to be collaborating with. And they make some really lovely, all sustainable pieces. Sent me this sweet little um, letter from Desiree, who is the owner. Got three pieces from them. This is a little sneak peek of the collaboration. This is a sweater, sweatshirt that I'm so excited to wear. This is a long sleeve shirt in this lovely color. Isn't that nice? And then this is actually a turtleneck, which I will still get plenty of use of out of. It looks like a thinner turtleneck, which I really like, and also a nice color. They're all really, really soft. This is the Agnes Raglan sweater. This is the, does it say? It doesn't say. Um, this is, it's kind of like a mock neck though, which I really like, and it's a nice, it's actually looking kind of brown in the, in the, um, video, but it's actually more of a sage green. Um, and then this is the long sleeve t-shirt, which is totally essential. All of their products are made out of tensile and organic cotton. I'm actually not sure what tensile is, I need to look into that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pop Linen. I'm super excited to collaborate. I also got a couple of things in from Amazon that so I thought I would show you. Um, this first thing, this is actually a giant um, laundry basket bag thing. Got this, the biggest one I could find. <laughs> this holds 100 liters worth of clothes. I actually really like it. It's like a very sturdy canvas, but it kind of feels like wax paper on the inside. I kind of match it too. The other thing I bought that I really, really needed to get was this um, picture frame. This is size A3. I bought this print from an artist named Jan Skeslik, I think that's how you say his name. Um, love it, and it matches the two. There's one here, there's one over there. I really love his work. So I'm going to frame this piece up now. be very real with you all this is what a lot of my days have been looking like recently working and eating chips from bed here's my print i don't know where to put it yet so i just set it there and those jeans that i still need to return mm. oh and the new hamper it's massive and we've managed to fill it up already just made my most favorite snack is anyone else seeing popcorn on the stove just get the plain popcorn kernels. This stuff. Liquid aminos. Yum! Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, and um, I'm in my sweatshirt, which is new from Pop Linen. Um, Kyle and I are headed out for a little drive, a little social distancing drive. Just popped on my Eritrea worker jacket. How oh, this looks. It's a nice shape. And then I have my tote bag from Dot Cup. There you go. It's a very neutral, casual outfit today. Such a beautiful view. Look at that. There it is. That's Coronado. This is San Diego proper. I don't know if you call it that. Other than these buildings. Oh. Lovely harbor smell. Great view. Yeah, it's a really nice day outside. Super sunny and beautiful views of San Diego. Sailboats going by, pretty isolated.
going to continue the rest of our Coronado journey by car. So Kyle suggested that I tell you guys what San Diego is. Technically, give you some Wikipedia information. So it's technically an island and it's connected to like the mainland via a tumbolo. I think that's what you call it. And that's basically just a really long stretch of like sandy land, sand basically. Um, Coronado in Spanish means the crowned city. It's kind of cool. Here is the hotel bell. It's really pretty and big and probably haunted. Got a view of the Pacific Ocean here on the right and lots of sand dunes. And then on the left, there's actually the bay. And this is the Tombolo. <laughs> We've now driven all the way from Coronado through that little stretch and we ended up in IB, which is Imperial Beach. And it's really empty here. There's like nobody around. It's kind of sad. The beach is closed until further notice. IB. So out here in the distance, you see Tijuana, Mexico. That is not a good sign. So pretty. This is all marshland over here. Kyle just pointed out if you look very closely, you can actually see the border wall between the US and Mexico. We're now gonna make ourselves a little cheese plate. Got some English cheddar. Okay, I'll pick this up. And smoked cheddar. Some water crackers. Olives. And I'm gonna pour myself some white wine. I also just got a very exciting package. I ordered these two tarot decks um, on Amazon. This one is like a traditional one, beautiful. And then this is a more contemporary one. I love the illustrations on this one. They look like a, like a children's book that I would have just loved when I was younger. I can't say I actually know anything about tarot, but I feel like it's going to be fun to just play around with them and use them as like a journaling tool because blogging used to be my hobby and now it's something I do all the time so I didn't really have anything else so I feel like I needed like a new hobby and that's this Such a lovely morning Look at this light coming from that window I love when that happens I'm really liking this, it's a really gentle peel and you just kind of wet your face and then rub it on and then it starts to bead and that's when you wash it. Very cool. I'm gonna do that now. Um, yeah, today I'm just gonna be working on my computer. It's Monday, by the way, I don't know, don't think I mentioned that. I don't know, I just have the um, inclination to not go about my usual routine. It's kind of like keeping that routine as a way to like keep some semblance of normalcy in my life right now <clears throat> with all of the weird transitions happening. I also mentioned yesterday that I got a couple of tarot card decks in. I thought they would arrive today so I was really happy to get them yesterday and play around with them. My plan is to use them for like a journaling activity, kind of like yeah journaling, looking into the imagery, seeing what I intuit intuitively feel from the cards and it's something that I've wanted to do for a little while now and I watched um, Lavender's video about like an intro to tarot card reading and she's very much about like journaling um, like activities you can do to make yourself more productive more organized and more like inspired um, I've also spoken to my friend Charlene who uses tarot as um, kind of like daily reflection and journaling thing too. So I just pulled my first spread and I don't really know how to do it exactly, but I basically just pulled three cards. I guess I'll just show them to you now. Um, I absolutely love this deck. It's just gorgeous. Look at those beautiful illustrations. So. I think the first one is usually like the strongest energy of the day. So I got the Fool. All really positive cards, I have to say. The Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. 
So I'm just using this little booklet that came with the deck to kind of read into each and read into the meanings of each card. So I have my little journaling notepad, gonna read about the meanings behind these cards and then write down my feelings and it's just a nice morning journaling activity, a way to start the day kind of slowly, drinking my coffee here. But I think this will help me like kind of clear my mind of any thoughts that I have lingering in there and hopefully make me more productive. I'm just taking a quick break from work. I've only been working for like an hour, but I got an exciting package that I wanted to show you now. I just need to move it. <laughs> um, so I'm partnering with this brand uh, because they are launching soon. It's called Either Or and they make sustainably made beautiful sandals. And so I'm going to unbox this now. Very excited. Thank you guys so much for sending these over. And here it is. Made in Mexico. Oh, how sweet. And all the pairs of shoes come with this adorable reusable netted bag, which I just love. I like the black color. Very cool. My goodness. Very lovely. Wow. Ooh. I picked out this style, which I really love. Love the black leather. Such a good staple, and I like how it's more of like a shoe rather than a sandal too the little strap there i'm gonna try these on now i really like the square toe of this it's a little bit later now and i'm just doing some photo work just to kind of break up the day and it's photos i need to take anyways so i'm putting together a flat lay for um some sponsor content that i'm shooting for a company called poplin and i showed you their pieces couple days ago and then I was wearing their um, sweatshirt yesterday. Just got out my camera. He's in the big boy today. This is the Canon 5D Mark IV that I use for most of my blog photos unless I'm using this camera. Um, yeah, I did a video about how I like shoot and edit photos so I will put that on the screen now if you're interested. And I'll just give you a little sneak preview of the flat lay that I'm doing right now. I'm actually using these photos for a guest blog post on their website, which is really cool. And then I will also have them up on my website as well. So yeah, having a pretty productive day here today. Happy Monday, guys. Today is Tuesday and I have a bit of a mission today. As you can see, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt from Poplinen that I wore on Sunday. But this morning I am headed to the Target. Don't worry, I'm not driving right now, I'm parked. Headed to the Target to try to find the largest thing of toilet paper that I can find. I have to go to a Target that's like out in the suburbs because that's the only place where it's still in stock. There's a new song by Little Dragon that I love. It's with Kali Uchis. Kali Uchis? I, I don't know. I've never listened to her before, but it's really good. It's called Do You Feel Sad? No, Are You Feeling Sad? I'm gonna bump that and hit the road. So I'm at Target now and I was able to get everything I needed and I just so appreciate everyone who's working there right now. They did such a great job at making sure there was like minimal amounts of like touching things and sanitizing every card machine before each person came in and like the toilet paper which I went for was very easy to get. While I was at Target, I not only got toilet paper, but I also got some more uh, Pinot Grigio because, you know, just the necessities. Um, and I basically just picked this one out because it has a really cute label. Can you see that? Yeah, I just really like the design on this, which is pretty much how I choose all my wines because I don't know anything about wine. Um, yeah, I will get into that later. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now because this vlog is getting pretty long. Uh, let me know if you guys like these vlogs. I'd like to keep doing them. I plan to anyways. <laughs> but um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.